Hi traders, it's Tomek here from Nikos Trading Academy and in this video I would just uh, would like to make some small summary of uh, last week. Uh, here I will explain some trades which we discussed during our live trading room. Some of them we took live uh, there, some of them I took uh, in a different time where we uh, didn't meet and I also would like to show you some uh, missed trades uh, because sometimes we or we cannot watch the market or we just do something different or simply we don't want to take some trades because of any reason and then we see that uh, they would paid off uh, quite nicely so uh, this is just the summary of last week uh, some of trades are still running some of them were closed so let me just explain you quickly uh, what was the reason behind of those trades you can also find this on the Facebook each trade uh, is described there uh, so uh, first is Aussie yen we took it during our live trading room this is very good trade right now because uh, currently we are around 8 to 1 or 9 to 1 uh, where price is of course here yes where where price went our stop loss is uh, here uh, trail to 2 to 1 uh, yes so this you could um, of course I do a little bit conservative management to show you how you can uh, manage in different ways but if you are happy with those results here you just close the trades and wait for another opportunity okay so keep in mind about that so the reason to take this trade was of course uh, daily trend line together with the daily long one two three uh, and we were looking for possible scenarios on the lower time frames and we had a uh, very nice uh, one two three here and three stop loss stop loss was 45 pips uh, two, two ways of management or you manage this below the 36 CMA on the one hour chart you just trail your stop loss below uh, then um, you would probably have around 250 pips 240 pips profit with the 45 pips stop loss so also very like 6 to 1 more or less uh, another thing is to trail it below the 4 hour chart 36 CMA and this is what I, I exactly do but like I said if you are happy with the results you don't wait yes because price can also you know just drop and you will lose everything you just take it and wait for another opportunity okay next pair is cut CHF uh, similar situation because also here we had this uh, daily trend line together with the daily long one to three our target is on the previous stop and uh, we were looking for possibilities to enter and there was also a long one hour chart one to three not so perfect uh, entry uh, but still it was nice first target was hit here now we have to wait you still see that price is going up with some problems stop loss was trade to break even so it's a risk-free trade let's see if it goes up to this uh, zone where is our second target and then of course we'll have our long-term target um, euro dollar this is something aggressive uh, i took it uh, against the main direction to target uh, daily 36 cma and uh, daily trend line so the idea was to take the chance of this retracement here or even higher and if i if you look for this uh, there was a long one two three here Yes, we took it. I took it here with the stop loss uh, around this first target was hit here. Second target, unfortunately, we I, I missed by a couple of peps. Then what I did um, after the spike when price went up, I just cut my stop loss uh, a little bit, yes, somewhere around this zone. And as you can see, on Friday we had this big reaction, and my stop loss was hit and then price uh, went up and reacted so it was losing to, of course first target was hit but two other position uh, were lost uh, so it was generally losing trade but if I wouldn't trail my stop loss if I leave it here and if price of course uh, did that and I could close my trade on the break break even and then this would be a uh, winning trade okay next is Euro Aussie um, aggressive trade because uh, there was no clean direction here at all but there was volatility so this was interesting for me uh, my goal was this previous bottom there was also like a potential lower high on the on the daily chart yes and price was pointing down uh, so uh, what 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 I did there was one hour chart late entry as you can see 
here price was making uh, some one to threes there was momentum there was volatility it was late entry stop loss as you can see was here and first target was hit here because we can measure because i forgot to put them here 45 uh 45 here and second target would be hit but i took it manually around this area so this the second target uh I think it was around 60 or 70 pips. Uh, why? Because there was support zone. So it was Friday. I didn't know if price break it or not. So I just want to be fair. I wanted to lock the profit before the weekend. And uh, now it seems that that is quite volatile. So if, if it really goes out, down, this might be uh, my target. So we will see how it ends. Uh, this might be a possible 300 pip move. So of course, I will keep you updated. Now I will be looking what price will make this. And then I will decide what to do with stop loss. And USD cat also very aggressive trade against the main direction target was 36 cma and we are already sitting unfortunately price missed my target again by around five eight pips um, but it's not the problem for me yet because uh, my goal was 36 and the trend line i took it on the four hour chart uh, here this uh, setup like i said very aggressive uh, and now i will wait to see if i see that price again is reacting here Yes, and will stop, will not, will not uh, continue to push down, but will play around. I will just take out this whole position. At least I will do my best to close it on the break even if I see that price is not going in my way. If I get breakout of the trend line uh, with the four hour chart, the price will close below the 36. I will also rid of this position. Uh, so I will I definitely, I will try to manage this uh, position without, uh, uh, without full stop loss yes so or break even or i will cut this uh, losing trade and the last is dax dax was uh, very nice last week uh, unfortunately i missed some good trades uh, but i also took very very nice trade here it was um, uh, on the renko charts because renko charts giving uh, giving me better uh it's it's for the day trading so you will see uh you will see more clearly some uh setup so as you can see this was uh entry here after this trend and breakout uh on the renko charts first target second target hit immediately and then uh it was possible i i managed this uh, stop loss here on the one hour chart as you can see entry was here of course this was late but this this is day trading scalping and i managed this below the 12 ema and it was seven to one with this uh third position so very very good trade uh and then what uh, what happened uh, we had another opportunities but i was doing something different uh so the first opportunity was uh here when price uh created lower high and started to, to broke 12 EMA. So then aggressive trade, like I did on the UK 100, uh, which you can find on Facebook also. Short scenario target was here. Unfortunately, I missed this, but this was our setup on the Renko chart, entry stop loss. Uh, so in this case, I use I used 250 point stop loss. So you see two targets were hit fast. Uh, and then if you wait, you could manage more. If not, if you manage here, you would you would uh, be stopped out here. Uh, so this was uh, this option. Uh, another option which happened, uh, of course, you see how many one to trees we have, but sometimes we this is not my time zone uh, to trade. And another one was here after this short one hour chart, one to three here. This was our two to three line. And we had also very nice, good looking entry uh stop loss uh, 250 points of course like i said i didn't take uh, those but i want to show you how you can manage them also here you see two targets were hit fast and then if you want you can manage this uh then price dropped a lot yeah so basically there was around 2000 pips so 10 to 1 even uh, but of course yeah it's very easy to explain now yes it's completely different when you trade but uh also here on the higher setting on the renko everything you see was pointing uh down the setup which i mentioned here was exactly combination with uh, this scenario here so we have this we have this one hour chart and here was our setup okay 
uh, and you see that everything here was pointing still down. So those are your next opportunities, by the way, to uh, take those trades. Yeah? So if you see that the momentum is pushing, you just wait for the retracement you, or you take it here or you take it uh, on the lower uh, setting combination. Late entries with the momentum. Uh, and the last one, uh, it was on Friday. Uh, at the beginning, price was very slow here. And uh, there was uh, there was a London Open here, so basically we had this small setup after breakout of uh, this trend line here. Yes, after breakout of this trend line, we have this small setup, and uh, you have to really wait for US session to um, to get the profits because the whole London session price was in the range. Uh, but we have also this opportunity on. Uh, Friday, yes, this, or you take it di uh, directly here, or you also get something on the M40 here. So, uh, yeah, so those are opportunities. Now, like I said, I just want to explain you this uh, opportunities, uh, which I'm trying to catch. Unfortunately, I was doing something different. Uh, so I just only catch this, but seven to one for me, it's uh, it was very good uh, profit uh, plus some other trades. So, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, you know where to find me. So thanks again and uh, hear you soon. Bye.